part two of adultery, a baby, and murder. So um, when my dad got shot uh, fatally when he died, um, my mom still tried to keep in contact with um, his parents, but unfortunately um, his dad was not open to that at all. He was a captain or sergeant, I, I can't remember which, and um, my mom is gone. Uh, she died four years ago, so I don't have her for reference anymore, and I didn't, unfortunately, take notes. So, anyway, the story goes that he basically told her never to contact him again, and so I really don't have any reference to my biological side of my father's family. Um, and that's sort of disturbing. So one day I'll get uh, DNA testing and I'll figure out what the hell I am. Um, people always ask me, I have no idea. I wanna go back a little bit. In fact, I remember my mom telling me that my grandfather blamed my mom. And obviously if they hadn't had an affair um, he could potentially still be alive. Crazy and all. Um, it may not have gotten to that point. Who knows? It actually makes me sad uh, thinking about it. Just bring all of this up. Um, so I'll come back around to this because this specific Thing with not having a connection to my biological father's side and to know that I have a sibling out there. Um, just makes me, uh, it, it made me at the time make decisions in my life uh, 20 some years ago. But it's um it just goes to show you how deep things go and you may not realize that it's affecting you in a certain way until after the fact so i'll share that later in lessons learned 